Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And we welcome you back to Inside West Virginia Politics this Sunday. We're going to turn the tables here to education reform. Joining us is Senate President Mitch Carmichael, Republican of Jackson County, also the Lieutenant Governor of West Virginia. It's May. We're going to have a special session at the end of this month, maybe the 20th, 21st that week. Um, you guys are bringing back education reform, um, very similar to the bill that didn't pass in the regular session. Well, first, good morning. It's great to be with you. Good and you. Uh, secondly, uh, the concept of education reform or uh, enhancing student success in West Virginia is vital not only to our future ec economy in West Virginia but also to our precious students and for us to uh, and this is why I keep coming back to this point Mark for us to turn a blind eye to the results of our national testing data and not pay attention to that we're ranked nearly last and if we don't this legislature have the moral conviction to do something to improve the student success in our schools, then shame on us. And so uh, there are many concepts that have been brought forth to improve our student success. And we've listened to our teachers, we've heard from our parents, and we've heard from our students. And we want to incorporate those great ideas, some that are used in other states, to bring it forth to West Virginia so that we can have the best system in America. I've got to show this to our viewers. Uh, you're, you're now a tweeter, too. You're yeah. In this one, you're retweeting President Trump, who's praising some education reforms in the state of Tennessee. What were they doing in Tennessee that you think we should be doing here? Tennessee, and President Trump uh, re put out a post and a tweet that uh, uh, praised the state of Tennessee for enhancing school choice and options for parents because he knows President Trump, the state that uh, West Virginia that supports him perhaps more than any other state in America, he's done so much great work in our nation, in our world, and in our state, recognizes the value of school options and choice for parents. Mark, every student does not learn the same way, and there are options that others, that particular students may need. For instance, an autistic child, uh, there's some great work being done with uh, the advancement of learning opportunities for those children, as well as children from uh, sp other special needs okay. considerations. We can do so much better, and President Trump was praising Tennessee for doing those things. Does this include charter schools, and why do you think we need charter schools? Well, but I believe charter schools are an absolute critical component to move West Virginia forward. And what I will say is, again, I want to point to the fact that we're down here. We're near last. We want to go here. And every state, 44 other states in America, I won't say every, 44 other states in America authorize the option of charter schools. Nobody's saying you must put forth a charter school. It's just saying it's an option for the particular communities that feel it's vital. We had a bill that passed in the regular session that had two pilot charter schools. <laughs> Are we likely to see pilot programs again? And do, do we have, a, will you come to an agreement on how many schools there might be or that, is it wide open? Yeah, no, it's, well, we would like to see, I would like to frankly see why put limitations on something that's good. But what we'll say is a change in West Virginia is hard as it is anywhere in the world. I mean, there is an incredibly uh, invested status quo, people that are, have special interests that want to impede progress in our state, and they will dig in like, uh, you know, ticks on a hound to stop any change or any progress in West Virginia. So I, I envision a scenario in which we have a limited number of charter schools that can potentially work in our state, and we'll see. Is the teacher pay raise tied to this Bill, or, or will they get a raise regardless of what happens with charter schools and the other issues? Well, what I'll say is we're bringing forth a Student Success Act, something that will improve the entire performance of our system. And there are vital components to that piece that must be included in a package for our uh, uh, the way that we look at it. We want it as a package. We, just like any scenario or any fix, you can't pull out a particular piece and say, okay, you can take, if you're a patient, if you can take this drug, but you don't have to take this drug, or you can uh, take this regimen or plan or diet, and but you don't have to take this one. It's a package, Mark, and we want to bring it forth as a package. We're down to about 30 seconds, but uh, 15 bills the governor's vetoed, they have to be fixed. We're talking about road repair funding and education reform. Can we get all this done in two days or are we looking at maybe an extended special session? Well, depending on, I think it'll probably be a little longer than that and we're hopeful that we have some consensus prior to coming to the session so that we can take care of it quickly. We're very cognizant of the taxpayer dollars. We don't want to spend any more than is absolutely necessary. All right, Senate President Mitch Carmichael, Republican Jackson County. We will be focused on education reform. We're going to talk more in the next segment about that. Stay with us here on Inside West Virginia Politics.